The third tool in the typography tools in Illustrator group is the tool called uh, Type on a Path tool. It's a very handy tool inside Illustrator, but at the same time, it's a bit awkward to work with. Let me show you what I mean. If I grab uh, maybe just, uh, just for starters, a simple rectangle and create a rectangle just like so, I'm going to make it, I'm going to give it uh, just a black, uh, black stroke, no fill, and I'm going to grab the end, the type on a path tool, and I'm going to hover over a path just like so, and I'm going to type in typography tools inside, inside Illustrator. You can see that I am, that I am, uh, creating my my text along this uh, this uh, line well first uh, this horizontal and then uh, the vertical line now why did i say that it's kind of kind of awkward to work with if i now just grab this um, well click the selection tool on this text you can see these little these little uh, like bars with uh, with squares over them right here and these guys are responsible for manipulating this uh, text and uh, along uh, along the path well these two guys and this guy right here in order to grab them we need to grab the direct selection tool and now you can see that my cursor will change when i hover over any of these uh, any of these bars right here so if i just grab this one you can see that i am moving it along my uh, my path and if i grab this one i'm going to tell illustrator where this text is actually ending so i'm going to move it to somewhere here and if i grab the middle one if i can see it and i think it's somewhere here you can see that if i hover over it my cursor is changing again i'm able to move this whole path just like so and as you can see it starts to it starts to well dance around <laughs> this path it starts to it starts to work the way it really actually wants not to really what i would like it to work so i'm gonna just maybe move it to somewhere here and with this uh, middle bar right here, we can also flip our text just like so. So if I move it around just like that, you can see that I am flipping it inside and outside the path just like so. And of course, we can we can type our text along a different path. It doesn't have to be a closed path. It can be an open path. So let me just grab the pen tool real quick and I'm just going to create a quick line that is going to look maybe something like that. And I'm going to I'm going to finish this shape, and I'm make, maybe gonna give it just a uh, stroke, no fill. So I'm gonna grab the type on a path tool again. I'm gonna click on this path just like so. And I'm gonna type in typography tools. Typography tools should suffice just like that. And again, if I just grab the, um, the direct selection tool, I'm gonna be able to move these guys around. And again, if I grab this uh, horizontal one, I'm gonna uh, this uh, middle one, I'm going to be able to move this guy along the path or f or move it down, just like so. But as you can see, we we kind of like uh, lost one word, so I need to move this guy just like so, and maybe then uh, move this guy up just like that. Now, an important thing about uh, this tool, and it's something for you to explore on your own, I would really advise you to explore it on your own because I want to keep these videos short, is that when if you have this uh, text selected, and if you double click on the type on a path tool, you, you're going to get type on a path options. Let me just hit the preview, and you can change the effect if you want from rainbow to skew, so you can give it like maybe a bit more, like it's kind of like flat or maybe like lying down on our path, so we are getting some kind of a 3D effect here. We could do a 3D ribbon, we could do a star step, or we could do a gravity. And of course, if you want, you can flip your, your text to make it look even more funky, just like so. Now, of course, we can align the path to baseline or ascender to make it go lower or descender to, to, um, to make it all go up. Uh, we can move it to the center. So, it, so this path is kind of like going through, uh, through uh, this, uh, this text. And of course, we can, we can go uh, with the baseline, which was set uh, as default. As for the spacing, uh, we can set it to a negative value. Of course, we can leave it at auto to a negative value, which will uh, basically move uh, these letters uh, away from each other, which is, well, I guess quite the opposite of, of what you would expect. And if we if we move it, uh, well, if we give it a, a bigger value, we are moving all these letters closer together, just like so. So a thing to remember when working with the, with the type on a path tool is that you can type, uh, well, use it on a closed path and on a uh, open path, just like this one. You can manipulate these handles with the direct selection tool. 
And if we if you double click on this type on a path tool, we're going to get type on a path options. And I really do encourage you to have fun with all these options because you can you can really let your creativity. Uh, well, you can set your creativity free with all these options. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the next tool, which is called the vertical type tool.